Come on, don't say that. I'll beg if I have to. I thought you and Mila were my friends. I hate you. I hate you! Can't you see that I'm just worried sick about you? Liar! You don't care about me at all! I don't want to be friends anymore! Miss Elise! Everyone is being kind to you right now because you have them so concerned. You say that you feel hurt, but have you considered your own actions? Do you realize that Tipo's words were just as hurtful to Miss Leia? I hurt Leia? Well, hurt is a strong word, but you took the wind out of my sails, that's for sure. I had no idea. Why don't you try apologizing to her? But I said such horrible things. I am certain she will forgive you if you ask nicely. Forgiveness is the sign of a true friend. Leia, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Sure, but under one condition. From now on, I want you to tell me more about yourself using your own voice. Huh. You're not the boss of her. You're only three years older. Tipo, stop! Elise? Yes? Even if it's only three years, I'm still older than you. Right. Bossy Leia! Scary Leia! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lesson here, child. Never take your friends for granted. So what do we do now? Jurgen still hasn't gotten back yet. We could just barge into the castle ourselves. For the hundredth time, let's not cause any trouble for Jurgen. That's no good? Hmm. It sounded like a good idea to me. in such a high place. Well, I guess... maybe it's just more impressive that way. But at the bottom of your heart, don't you want to? No, you're wrong! Don't say things like that! Bad, Tebow, bad! Hey, take it easy, you two! But Tebow's been saying horrible things! It's all right, I don't mind. Always meddling with us just because you're a few years older. But... but I like it when Leia meddles. Yep, she really does feel that way. Oh, thanks, Elise. Guess I'll keep right on meddling then. Hey! Why do you always chomp my face? As a sign of affection! I've never seen Tipo get so close with anyone else before. So that was like a Tipo kiss. It was? My first kiss was stolen by Jude? <gasps> stolen? That should be my line. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with a puppet. Don't be coy, Jude. You have to take responsibility. Oh, Jude. Responsibility? Responsibility for what? Oh, that was good eating. Tipo, what exactly is it that you absorb from foes? I'm not really sure. It's like their energy, or enthusiasm. Is that nutritious? Beats me. But when I'm hungry before I know it, I'm chowing down. You really are a peculiar creature. What does enthusiasm taste like? It depends on the person. For example, yours tastes like strawberries. What? When did you absorb mine? I don't need to absorb it to know. I can just tell. Huh. That does sound appetizing. Wait, what?
That's quite the line. I guess this king really does listen to his people. The king of Ajul is well known for his charisma. It is said he unified this strife-torn country on the strength of his character alone. A guy like that is sure to help us. Charisma only goes so far. If his government is secretly producing children like Elise, then he must answer for it. Thank you. Sorry, we were getting antsy. No, this is actually perfect timing. Are we good to go with the Wyverns? Yes, I got royal approval. And something incredible happened when I requested an audience for Mila. What is it? When I told them your names, they said His Highness was looking forward to meeting you, too. Are you all famous in Rashagal or something? Uh, um, I don't think so. Perhaps word of the tournament has reached His Highness. What a great honor for our clan. Anyway, I need to head back to Shandu to ready the Wyverns. Hmm. Quite the unexpected welcome. It's not a trap, is it? I have a bad feeling about this as well. You do? It beats not getting to meet him at all. <sighs> Keeping secrets from us again? Of course. I have to maintain my mystique for the ladies. <sighs> What does he mean? They say men with secrets are attractive or something. I'm not exactly the right guy to ask. Come on, let's go say hi to His Highness. Alvin, we really need you to be straight with us. Don't worry. I know you've put your trust in me. <laughs> <laughs> 